Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing good. Welcome to Tricks for Maths. This is Sharda Hegde. In this video you are learning how to find out cube root of an imperfect cube. In my previous video I hope you have learned how to find out cube root of perfect cube. If not, please subscribe my channel and get all my videos on Vedic mathematical tricks and techniques. Before going to the trick, I need to suggest one thing. To find out the cube root, at least you need to remember the cubes of these 10 numbers like 1 to 10. It is better if you know more. Okay, let us start with the first problem. 76 I am taking here. That means we are finding cube root of 76 which is an imperfect cube. So what is the first step? First step is splitting the number. How do you split the number? We need to check that where 76 falls in this list. 76 is in between 64 and 125. That means it is in between the cube of 4 and 5. So how I will write 76 is in between 4 cube is 64. Yes and it is less than 125 which is 5 cube. Now you will consider either 64 or 125 but if I consider 125 what will happen like it is much less than 125 if I consider 64 my work will be easy so I will take 64 only if I consider 64 how can I split the number 76 can be written as 64 plus 12 yes 64 plus 12 is 76 only we are finding cube root here. Now the next step, first step is splitting the number and the next step is cube root of 64 is 4. We know that 4 we will write and then write as it is plus 12 here. If you consider 125 what will happen? You will write 125 minus something to get 76. Right? Here I am getting plus 12. That plus 12 I will directly write like this. And then 12 divided by, okay, this 4 multiplied by 4. That means you are taking the square of this number, okay. 4 multiplied by 4 you will write. And this 3, that means cube root. So this 3 you will multiply with 4 and 4. I will tell once again, this plus 12 you will write here. And divided by 4 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 you will write. Okay. And then the next step. 4 as it is plus. How will you solve this? 4 ones are 4 threes are. 3 ones are 3 ones are. So 1 by 4 you will be left with. So 1 divided by 4 is 0.22 you will get like this. So you can take 1 decimal point or 2 decimal places. 4.22. 2-2 is my final answer. Please cross check for the answer. This is the approximate value. That means cube root of 76 is 4.2. Let us go for one more example and then you will get to know how it works. I am considering here 861. So in order to find the answer what will be the first step? Yes as we know we need to split this number and write it in such a way that we should have the nearest perfect cube for this number, right? So what it is? It is 729 because I can't take 1000. Yes, I can take but it is much more than 861. So what I will do? I will go for 729 only. So how I can write 861? 729 plus 132. It becomes 132, okay? Now the next step is 729 cube is 9. We know this. We will write this 9 plus 132 as it is. Okay. This group as it is. Now divided by this 3 multiplied by 9 square. Or you will write 9 into 9. Or you can directly write the value of 9 square. That is 81. Okay. You can directly write 81 also. Now the next step is 9 plus See, 3 1s are, 3 4s are 12. Again 12, 3 4s are. That means 44 divided by 81. I got here. So 9 plus 
here if i consider uh, decimal point it becomes 440 then 8 five size is 400 so i can go for 5 that means our answer is approximately 9.5 this is the cube root of 861 please try this trick you will find the cube root very quickly let us go for one more example here i am considering 1458 a four digit number i am finding the cube root so the first step what i will follow i will split the number okay the nearest perfect cube for this number is it is not in this list but we can guess see 1000 is cube of 10 If I take eleven, I will get one thousand three hundred and thirty-one, which is near to one thousand four fifty-eight, right? So how I will write this? It is one thousand three hundred and thirty-one plus one hundred extra and twenty-seven extra. Okay, one twenty-seven. So I can write as one three three one plus one twenty-seven. So my next step is cube root of this number is eleven. Plus this one twenty seven as it is divided by this three multiplied by eleven eleven za one twenty one also you can write or eleven eleven directly you can write I will write one twenty one eleven square is so eleven plus here I can't go for division because one twenty seven is not divisible by three so what I will do one twenty one one za one twenty one one za is one twenty one. Point six, I can go for. So we we'll get zero three. So that means one I can consider one divided by three is zero point three three. So my answer is eleven point three three is the approximate answer. Please cross check. Cube root of one thousand four hundred and fifty eight is eleven point three three. I hope you have found this trick is very useful and very easy also please use for another number and check if you are new to my channel please subscribe and support share my videos with your friends and family i will meet you in the next video with the more information till then take care bye bye